am filming in front of my window today, so you guys are definitely gonna hear dogs, people, airplanes, cars, motorcycles, raccoons, all sorts of creatures. So I apologize in advance, but please stay, stay and watch. welcome or welcome back to my channel so before jumping into this video today's song of the week is going to be bmo by ari lennox she's an r&b singer she's freaking phenomenal this song is amazing but honestly the whole album shea butter baby high class five fucking stars 10 out of 10 do yourself a favor and listen to that song and then listen to the whole album you're welcome Okay, so today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine video for the fall and winter. I'm very excited because this video is going to be in collaboration with my best friend, Brian Cortez. He is also a small Puerto Rican YouTuber just like me. He does more of uh, skincare content. He is an esthetician in training, so most of his videos are very, you know, very informational, but very straight to the point. So if you go to his channel, he's gonna be uploading a video about tips on how to make your skincare routine more effective for the fall and winter months. I'm gonna link his YouTube channel down below. Also follow him on Instagram because he's great. So for my video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I've incorporated the tips that he already gave me on how to make my skincare routine more effective for the colder months. So let's get started. So let's talk about my skin type. I have combination sensitive acne prone skin. So let's talk about how I, you know, treat those problems. I have four different skincare routines. My AM routine, which doesn't really change almost at all on a day-to-day -day basis. Then for my PM routines, I have three different types. I have my retinoid nights, I have my chemical exfoliation nights, and I have my hydrating slash soothing nights. Let's start with my AM routine. I start every day by washing my face with my good old Neutrogena Ultra Dental Hydrating Cleanser. I've gone through so many different bottles of this cleanser. It's so gentle, it's so basic. The main reason why I'm cleansing my face is just to get rid of any excess products that I might have from my nighttime skincare routine the night before. Right after cleansing, I go with my toner. I use the AC Collection Calming Liquid Mild from Casa Rex. It's just really good for calming down redness and irritation. And since I have such sensitive freaking skin, nine times out of 10, I wake up with redness on my face. Like it's, it's a given. So right after toning, while my face is still wet with the toner, I go in with an essence. The one that I use is the Advanced Nail 96 Muse and Power Essence from Costa Rex as well. I rave about this product on two other past videos of mine and I am still loving it. The Snail Mucin, Mucin, whatever, is so good for skin that needs hydration and healing. So adding this snail musing to my routine has been life changing, girl. So right after my essence, I go into my morning serums. So it's my niacinamide and my vitamin C serum. My niacinamide is from Glossier. It's their super pure niacinamide zinc serum. And the vitamin C serum that I love using is the one from May Love. It's called their Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. But even though I love them both, I can't use them at the same time. And that is the curse of having sensitive skin. I love niacinamide because it's always fighting inflammation and redness. Vitamin C, on the other hand, is a very brightening and antioxidant ingredient. So right after using my niacinamide or my vitamin C, I like using a second serum. This one is from Good Molecules. It is their Discoloration Correcting Serum. This specific one is formulated with Cetyl Tranex. Fuck, man. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cetyl Tranexamate Mesylate. Cetyl tranexamate mesylate. Yeah, that's in this. <laughs> well, that, I'll write it on the screen, is, <laughs> is a great ingredient for fighting discoloration and hyperpigmentation of the skin. And I suffer from that so bad that I have a whole separate serum 
to fight it because it's so hard to get rid of so after using serums that target you know my little skin problems i start layering hydrating products on top i start with my little eye cream i still use this glossier bubble wrap eye and lip plumping cream because it's so basic but it does exactly what i needed to do i don't like using active ingredients like retinols or vitamin c or caffeine on my under eyes yet because i'm scared <laughs> i like using this super basic one it is just so hydrating and plumping and nice and it just feels really really good <laughs> that's the only reason why i use it. it after that i go with my moisturizer i've upgraded to a bit of a thicker moisturizer for daytime i am now using this one from pacifica this is their coconut probiotic technology water rehab cream even though it says it's a water cream it's not liquidy at all it's very thick it doesn't break me out it is very very moisturizing so right after my moisturizer i go with my spf you heard that right it doesn't matter what season it is it doesn't matter if it's rainy if it's cloudy if it's snowing you better be wearing spf every single this is the Neogen Dermatology Advanced Sun Safety Solution for Sensitive Skin Daylight Protection Sunscreen SPF 50. I started getting into mineral sunscreens, but I am brown. And if you have ever used a mineral sunscreen before, you know about that white cast. Ooh, girl, that white cast. But Brian recommended I try this one because it's a hybrid. So it doesn't leave as much of a white cast as other mineral sunscreens do. Also, it's so hydrating and moisturizing. Oh my God, it is so good. <laughs> so right after SPF, I go in with whatever lip balm I might have near me. I just open my lip balm drawer and whatever the first one is, that's the one I use. Today, it just happened to be this from Moon Glossier. This is the Glossier Mango Balm Balm. As the last step on my AM routine, I go in with my Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. This is already my third bottle of this beautiful, beautiful face mist. It has hyaluronic acid and oats. If you are looking for a beautiful face mist that is hydrating, moisturizing, long lasting, and has the finest mist you have ever witnessed in your life, Pixie Girl, Pixie got you. Okay, now for my PM routines, let's start with the retinoid nights. And it starts with my double cleansing. I first go with my oil cleanser. The one that I use is one from Burt's Bees, the cleansing oil with coconut and argan oils. It removes absolutely everything from foundation, concealer, mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick. It just removes everything without drying out my face. Right after that, I go in with my more hydrating cleanser, which is still this one from La Roche-Posay. It's their Tolerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. And I've mentioned before how much I love it. I've mentioned their benefits. It is just such a beautiful cleanser, especially if you have combination to dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin. It is just, it is just beautiful. It's so free, sulfate-free, fragrance-free. It has ceramides and it has niacinamide. What more can you ask for? And it's also enormous and very affordable. Right after cleansing, I go in with a hydrating toner. This is still the one that I use. This is from Kiehl's. It is their ultra facial toner. And I've said before that this feels like a liquid moisturizer. It has beautiful ingredients. It has squalane, it has avocado oil, vitamin E, etc., etc. It's just it's just beautiful and perfect for nights when you know that you're gonna be using an abrasive ingredient such as retinol. So just like in my AM routines, right after my toner, I go in with the same essence that I use during the daytime. I go in again with my Snail Muse and Power Essence from Cosrx because it's just that good. And right after my essence, while my face is still a little bit humid from the toner and the essence, I go in with my retinoid of choice. This is the Effaclair Adapalene Gel 0.1% Acne Treatment from La Roche-Posay. This is such a good acne treatment, man. And I think it can be used as a spot treatment but the way i use it is all over my face also do not let that 0.1 percent fool you into thinking that this is a product that like won't do anything for your skin this shit made me purge like a motherfucker <laughs> but after you get through all that purging you get beautiful baby soft even skin okay so right after using my retinals i start 
layering, hydrating, and moisturizing products. Once again, I start with my eye cream. For nighttime, I still use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. There's not so much that I can say about it. It's just very nice and moisturizing and thick and just nice. <laughs> right after using my retinols, and other abrasive ingredients i like going with a very thick moisturizer and use it all over the points of my face where i'm the most sensitive so i like going with this little beautiful product from la roche posay as well this is their cicaplast balm b5 it is a repairing moisturizer it's very thick very moisturizing and very soothing and of course then i use a thick moisturizer as well but all over my face it's also from a korean skincare brand this is from skinnerx labs this is their made sera cream and it has so many great ingredients it has ceramides madecasoid niacinamide and adenosine i love slapping this stuff literally all over my face it is so nice thick rich and moisturizing and it feels so so good right after that i like going with my good old squalene from the ordinary if you still haven't watched my last video where i went super in depth on these the ordinary product all that you need to know right now is that squalene is a hydration powerhouse if you deal with dry cracked dehydrated skin squalene is your best friend and of course to finish it off i go with whatever lip balm once again i might go with my elf one i might go with my bite one i might go with my glossy one whatever lip balm i might have i just slap it all over my lips okay so my second type of skincare routine for the night is my chemical exfoliation nights for these nights i take the same steps i double cleanse i tone I use my essence and then I go in with a chemical exfoliator of my choice. So these are definitely my favorite ones. This one is the lactic acid 10% from The Ordinary, which I also talked about in that The Ordinary video. And then I have this TLC Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. If I notice that I have a little bit of redness and a little bit of texture around my face, I like using my lactic acid. But on the other hand, if I notice that I'm having a particularly rough skin day where I'm having lots of texture, then I go with my glycolic night serum from Drunk Elephant. They're both great products. One is just milder than the other. On the nights that I use either my lactic or my glycolic serum, I like layering on top my azelaic acid. Azelaic acid reinforces the strength of glycolics and lactic acids especially if you deal with redness and texture and right after that i go with the same products that i use on my retinoid nights i go over with my night cream with my cicaplast if i need it my thick moisturizer my squalane my lip balm and my hydrating face mist all right now for my final and honestly my favorite <laughs> pm skincare routine my hydrating and soothing skincare routine. So right after double cleansing with the same cleansers, I like using a niacinamide toner. This one is also from Good Molecules and it is fantastic. And I love using this toner for the nights where I need the most soothing and hydration. I follow it with the same essence, then I follow it with my discoloration serum from Good Molecules, same eye cream I already mentioned, my good old thick moisturizer, and then I like layering an oil. This is The Ordinary's Rosehip Seed Oil. I also talked about this before on my channel. I mentioned all the incredible benefits that it has, but the specific reason why I like using it on my hydrating and soothing nights is because it has vitamin A. Vitamin A is very brightening and is very soothing on the skin. Then I follow with whatever lip balm, as always. <laughs> and instead of going with a spritz of my face mist, I like using an overnight face mask. This is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask from Casa Rex. It is very comparable to the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I always wake up the next morning with just beautiful skin. Like even if I have a breakout, yes, but my face, my skin just feels nice, hydrated, and moisturized and plump. All right, and that's it. Those were my updated skincare routines for the fall and winter months. I really hope this was helpful, especially for those of you who are still trying to learn how to layer 
moisturizers and oils and serums and stuff like that don't forget to check out my best friend Brian Cortez's channel he's gonna be giving you more tips on skincare follow him on his YouTube and on his Instagram tell me about your song of the week in the comments down below any other questions that you might have about skincare oil serums and how to layer them please let me know let's talk about it also follow me on Instagram at Mimio6 and if you enjoyed this video consider liking and subscribing to my channel and most importantly girl boy gender non-binary have a great rest of your day okay bye